to our dear stockholders and the rest of our audience here today, good morning. Thank you for joining us. The year 2020 tested the strength and resilience of every individual and industry around the world. While it was challenging, the past year opened up opportunities for MegaWorld to make a lasting impact on the communities we serve. We as a company leaned into those opportunities to stay true to our vision of uplifting lives, impacting society, and helping shape the nation. Now more than ever, our rise to the top as a company is marked by our ability to go into places, not only to build developments, but also to create communities and bring value to them. The Mega World Township was a groundbreaking innovation 25 years ago, but it proves its relevance time and time again. The pandemic put the spotlight on the effectiveness of the township model. Not only do our integrated developments promote a high quality of living, they also put a premium on safety and convenience, which became a priority of Filipinos during the lockdown. For residents, our townships address their need to feel secure while enjoying easy access to essential products and services. Allow me to introduce to you an esteemed resident of our McKinley Hill. Hello, my name is Chelsea Robato and I moved to McKinley Hill Village during the pandemic. I also like that there's a lot of activities like the book drive, there's a community pantry, and they're also doing a beautification program. I also like the amenities because you can book your schedule and they sanitize before and after each person. So it's a great way to relax and unwind and de-stress away from the house while doing safely. <laughs> so the location, security, amenities, and good sense of community are some of the factors that I like about living in McKinley Hills Village and it's been a great way to cope with the challenges of the pandemic. While we recognize the gravity of the current situation, MegaWorld has always looked to the horizon to an eventual recovery. We saw improvements in our financial performance with our quarterly core revenues and net income registering continuing improvements since the strict lockdowns began in the second quarter of 2020, signaling that our core business was on the bend. This was achieved on the back of continuing demand for our real estate offerings. Megaworld Premier Offices provided stable revenues in 2020, an indicator that the outlook on office leasing to BPOs remained bright. We closed 135,000 square meters of new leases and 140,000 square meters of renewals. Our biggest BPO tenants with expiring leases renewed their partnership with us. Meanwhile, we added 87,000 square meters of new office gross leasable area last year. We are truly honored by the trust that our tenants put in us, and we intend to remain a strong enabler of their success. Taxa chose Mega World Township because of the total community that it was offering or it has been offering us for the 10 years or more than 20, 10 years that we've been here in the Philippines. So basically, we found that Mega World was willing to accommodate our needs from the very beginning. Everything is available from your basic necessities in the mall and even services such as uh, a clinic in terms of your medical needs. So that's helped our employees as well for easy access to be able to walk to the offices needed. And also we provide the convenience of having shuttles that are able to easily go in and out of the township. We've been with Mega World for more than 10 years. So it's been truly a good relationship between Taxet and Mega World in the township. Uh, they've been fully supportive of us throughout those 12, 10 years, and especially during the pandemic. We have always believed that we are in a very good position to contribute to nation building. And that is why we made a decision to diversify outside Metro Manila nearly a decade back. For our clients, 
Expanding our geographic presence also provided them with more options to meet their growth aspiration. Last year, Iloilo became the most preferred location outside Metro Manila for most of our BPO clients. In fact, even amid the pandemic, we were able to grow our market share to 70% of the entire Iloilo office market. With this, we are proud of our contribution to the economic progress of Western Visayas. During the pandemic, we capitalized on increased demand for our residential projects, especially those outside but near Metro Manila. Lots in Arden Botanical Village, our first upscale residential village in Trece Martires Cavite, were sold out in the second quarter of 2020, in the middle of the lockdown. This year, we are launching several residential projects in Cavite, Pampanga, Iloilo, and Bacolod, which will generate around 18 billion pesos in sales. There is still a remarkable demand for megaworld properties. In fact, our reservation sales reached 20.7 billion pesos in the first quarter of 2021 alone. One of the more profound effects of the pandemic on real estate has been the restriction on social gathering and leisure travel. In the new reality, health and safety are the focus, and we at Megaworld have had to pivot to ensure the safety of our spaces while still staying relevant. For Megaworld Lifestyle Malls, we have redesigned and reimagined alfresco dining by transforming them into refreshing patio spaces. We offered convenience to our customers by offering contactless transactions, cashless payment options, and even butler services for shopping. As such, Alfresco Dining was a big driver in the recovery of our malls, particularly when restrictions were loosened in the second half of the year. We also recognized the need to support our retail partners. Aside from providing them rental concessions, we extended support to them by developing new sales and marketing channels and assisting them in their transition to the digital economy. A longtime retail partner of Megaworld talks about his experience as a restaurateur in our lifestyle malls. Megaworld was one of our, our first landlords to show support. Uh, that's why we're able to really still survive this pandemic. They were very supportive in terms of uh, the rentals uh, during the ECQ last year. And then when we moved to different quarantine levels, we would definitely adapt and uh, support for us to survive uh, now. And fortunately, we still haven't closed any stores with Mega World. We've always believed in the Mega World brand. Uh, they take good care of their tenants. Rustan Coffee Corporation's relationship with Mega World has been very, very long. They always make sure that their townships are very well designed. Uh, make sure, especially now during the pandemic, they're making sure that their malls, their townships are safe for customers to have confidence in going into the malls and the townships. So, you know, they're, I think that's just the overall um, the overall leadership that is shown by the Tan family and, and I think it shows in their development as well. The biggest advantage of being partner with Mega World is that when you're in a Mega World lifestyle mall, when you're part of a Mega World township, you know that the partnership is uh, long-term and it's holistic in nature. It makes you feel valued. No? Uh, it's, it's, you're, you're not just there for the short term. You, you feel valued that uh, you're part of the process of building the whole community. But most importantly, and one thing I, I won't forget is, recently uh, I've, I've sat down with Mr. Kevin Tan. No? So he went to me in one of my restaurants uh, 
And then he just he just talked and he asked me one important question. And the question was, uh, how else can you think we can do better you know, in terms of uh, helping tenants uh, or helping the mall or pushing the malls to recover you know, faster, uh, more efficiently, more aligned with uh, the new normal? Sitting down with me meant meant, uh, meant a lot of things. You know? uh, we felt that our views still mattered. Right now, I feel as a restaurateur, uh, pushing al fresco dining is is a good strategy. You know? uh, it's gonna you know uh, push uh, customers to go out again, but at the same time, uh, it's gonna make them feel a little bit safer. And I feel Mega World Lifestyle Malls are are strong in uh, you know creating experiences. The pandemic also revealed opportunities in e-commerce and the digital space that could only be backed by strong technology infrastructure. Our Picaru app, which was developed by our wholly owned subsidiary, Agile Digital Ventures, helped our mall retail partners during the pandemic and has emerged as an important source of sales, especially for our F&B partners. Part of our construction commitments is to make sustainability a priority. Last year, we made headway in promoting energy efficiency in our developments. We installed solar panels at our festive walk mall in Iloilo, which helped reduce our energy costs and greenhouse gas emissions. Meanwhile, we continue to adhere to the principles of green design and architecture. On top of our current portfolio of LEED certified office buildings, we have nine pending applications for LEED certification for our various office properties. Our sustainability commitments did not just extend to the environment or the communities under our care. In the areas of job creation and education, we at Megaworld took care of our own. When the pandemic hit, we made sure that we put a lot of focus on job preservation, especially for our workers in the hard-hit retail and hospitality industries. No retrenchments and layoffs and no salary cuts were implemented among our regular employees. The company also made sure to provide personal protective equipment or PPEs as well as vitamins to all employees. Those who contracted COVID-19 were also assisted in their needs in various ways, including provisions for personalized care kits. Our Megaworld scholars also continued their education even during this challenging time. Through our Megaworld Foundation, we support their needs and even provide them with opportunities to work in our various companies. Hello, I'm Lars Sassel David. Now I'm working as a digital content administrator under the PR and Media Affairs team of MegaWorld, and I'm a proud MegaWorld scholar. I'm one of the thousands who have been given an opportunity uh, to finish my studies in one of the uh, prestige universities that I chose, which is FEU, and now helped me grow my career in one of the top companies here in the Philippines. And I'll be forever grateful for that. Last year, we had faith that the rollout of the COVID-19 vaccination would herald a more positive outlook for the Philippine economy. We were among the first companies to express support for the government's mass vaccination program. In cooperation with various local governments, we committed to open 11 vaccination centers in our various townships. Through these vaccination centers, we hope to provide safer and more comfortable venues for inoculation, especially to senior citizens and those with comorbidities. That's why we opened the country's first cinema vaccination centers in Venice Grand Canal Mall and Southwoods Mall and our drive through vaccination hub in Southwood City in Binyan, Laguna. Moving forward, 
we will continue to ramp up our construction activities as we strive to meet our commitments to our clients. This coming year alone, we expect to complete 19 projects across our business segments. We will boost our sustainability efforts even more this year. We launched the Zero Waste Lifestyle Program, which activates the gathering of plastic waste across our malls, residential, hotel, and office developments. In line with this, we are currently working with a non-profit organization, Plastic Credit Exchange, in bringing our plastic waste products to cement factories to be used as clean fuel for their burners, which have to be continuously fired up 24 by 7 at 2,000 degrees. This helps make emissions cleaner while also addressing our problems concerning plastic waste. Let's hear from the founder of Plastic Credit Exchange, Nanette Medvedpo, about this initiative. It's in the DNA of PCX to think circular. So we are thrilled to support Megaworld in its vision to create meaningful opportunities that make a real difference in the community. People are eager for solutions that work, so PCX introduced the Plastic Waste Collection Program to empower the public to take control of the plastic pollution crisis and meet the bold sustainability goals of Megaworld. We look forward to expanding the reach of this program throughout the Megaworld townships as they seek to find viable solutions to further minimize plastic footprints and create a better, more sustainable future for generations to come. Thank you, Megaworld. The campaign is targeted towards all members of the community, partners, residents, the property management office, service providers, and all visitors of our townships. We initially launched the pilot program in Eastwood City and McKinley Hill, and we hope to expand this to other townships as well. On digital technology, we hope to invest in companies that have sustainable output and solutions to real-world problems through agile digital ventures. In our digitally connected world, we also believe that there are opportunities to invest in data science and technology. And we have jump-started this by partnering with one of the leading universities in the country. Earlier this week, Megaworld announced the application for registration and listing of Emory Inc., a newly formed wholly owned subsidiary of Megaworld. Emory will have an initial asset portfolio of 10 office and commercial properties with an aggregate leasable area of more than 224,000 square meters. Once approved, this will be the largest REIT offering in the country in terms of size and will raise up to 27 0.3 billion pesos. This is another game changer for Megaworld, and this will enable our company to unlock the value of its prime property investments. The money we will raise will help fund our robust expansion pipeline. It is our hope that this will contribute immensely to the Philippine government's fourth pillar of social economic strategy to create jobs and sustain economic recovery. Despite the challenges we face due to the current environment, we were able to work through the difficulties of 2020 and leverage on opportunities that were beneficial not only to the business, but impactful to our customers and the communities. We would not have been able to do this without your confidence and support. To you, our stockholders, and to everyone who put their trust in the Megaworld name and brand, thank you.
we remain positive about what the year 2021 holds for the future of the company. The learnings we took away from last year have only served to make us stronger and to solidify our resolve to build up our communities and to sustain our commitment to nation building. Thank you.